You guys ready? This is it. It's happening right now. I'm so excited. It's happening right now. Don't worry, guys. I will explain all the points. I'm doing all the commentaries, so I will explain everything as we go. All right, let's do this. All right, three, two, one, go! All right. So we use Discord as a live countdown for runners to be able to go. And just like that, iBooba has a slight delay, which is okay. So their timers are gonna be a little bit different, but it's not by enough. It's not enough time. So both runners start off in 1-1, obviously like a normal speed run, and they have to go through as fast as they can, try not to make any mistakes. We have learned in previous runs that little mistakes, even medium-sized mistakes, aren't the end of the world. We have seen runners die and still win. It's all about the points, guys. All right, so the first two points, the first three points you can get in World 1 is when you fight the Hammer Brother, if you get a frame-perfect jump while standing in the air, it's right at the start of the battle. If you just get a frame-perfect jump at the start of the battle, you will get a point. And if you stay in the ducking form, so how Mario crouches, like if you stay crouching on the entire airship, you get two points for that. Ooh, all right, so neither runner has really made mistakes. Haxer is getting a little bit of a lead here because he is getting movements of one, whereas Ibuba is not. Um, he's gonna avoid the orb, same with Ibuba. That seems to be the strategy that runners have taken in the tournament. If you get hit by that orb, you gotta go back and grab the other mushroom, then you gotta grab the lead. Right on. So I know this is warpless, but it is faster to grab that warp whistle and then get out of there without breaking the lock. Hacks are getting a bump in the overworld and a movement of two, letting Ibuba catch up a little bit. All right, both runners going for the P-Speed strategies in 1-5. Ibuba losing his P-Speed a bit, but that's going to be okay. He's going to get it back. No runner is going to go for the MFP tunnel. Can we get some MFP Shang Sun in chat, please? <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right. Nice, both runners are very sync right now. It's going to be huge, this airship and these points. All right, Ibuba's going to be first. Oh, and Ibuba does not get the frame jump at the start of the level. This is going to be a good opportunity for Haxer to get an advantage here of one point. If neither runner gets it, though, uh, that could be pretty good. And like we've seen in the tournament before, one point advantage is not enough to feel comfortable. Not enough at all. So Haxer's on his way. He's going to give it a try. Haxer does not get it either. Neither runner got the frame jump at the start of the Hammer Brother battle. So no points are going to be awarded here. But Haxer, ooh, Haxer got the fire flower from the hammer, or from the, yeah, from the hammer brother, which means while he's crouching on the airship, he doesn't have to go for the flower, which is harder. All right, here we go. It's gonna be, this is gonna be really exciting here. So this is what crouching on the airship means. As soon as you land, you're gonna wanna crouch, boom. So Haxer, they have to say crouch the whole time. Dance, puppets, dance. Yes, for once, it's not me. This is a big point swing if you don't nail this. It's very important that both runner get these two points here. Extremely important. If they stand up at all, they lose the point. Nice, Ibuub is looking good. Axer's looking good. Axer looks like he's gonna be the first to finish. Axer gets it. Ibuba also gets it. Both runners get those two points. For anyone new watching for the first time, we have the trackers in the bottom right and the bottom left here. Axers are right here. Ibubas are right here. So we track the points and we click on them. They flash. They both start with six. And the reason they both start with six is because it's assumed that they get under 60. And it's assumed that one person is first place. And you get a reward for not dying in the run. You get one point reward. So it's basically assumed. Right on. So they are neck and neck right now. This is uh, this is good. This is what we want to see. We don't want to see people losing right away in the early game. All right, world two, starting to get a little hot, right? It's starting to get a little, a little spicy, a little sweaty in here. So after the first level in world two, you're always guaranteed a movement of two. And there is a point that you can get in world two if the Hammer Brothers do movements of two for the entire world. RNG point, yes, you do get a point. All right, looking good, looking good. Neither runner is gonna have to worry about fanfare here. I like that. 
Nice. Ooh, pretty decent movement from them. They both get the movement of two. Looking good on the slide. Ooh, I hate, I hate two two so much. Is anyone gonna fall in the mode of tears? The mode of sadness right here. Oh, dang it. I don't want anyone to mess up, but I mean, you know, taking a, taking a swim in some tears. <laughs> nice, okay, so now these runners can try and get uh, Flower Star Mushroom for their end level cards, and they do get a point for that. They do get a point. Both of them getting the exact same Hammer Brother movements. Haxer does get early P speed, and ooh, Ibuba does not, so Ibuba, oh, Haxer missed the pipe though. Ooh, and Ibuba cannot get the late P speed. Axer does get the rebuild here. Nice, but messing up that pipe is not going to allow him to keep a huge advantage from that. It looks like Ibuba is behind just by a couple seconds here. Now, I know there is a little delay on their time, so we can worry about that at the end of the run. Right now, we're going to base it on the visuals. Right on, man. These runners are neck and neck. The next thing that they're going to want to go for is killing the sun in the sun level. Is Haxer going to go for the music box? He is going to go for the music box. Both runners getting the same RNG. That is... The odds of that are so incredibly low. There's so many different patterns that these Hammer Brothers can do. It's just absolutely incredible. All right. Still getting a movement of two on Haxer's side. Ibuba also getting a movement of two. Wow, dude. If both runners get all movements of two... That would actually be pretty funny. Alright, making good work. Nice. 2-3 is easy peasy for these runners. Actually getting the duck stomp. It is faster to do this with the turtle shell. That way you knock it back. You stop it from going all the way to the left and back to the right. Hacks are trying to get the flower. Does not get it. Ibuba does get it on the other hand. If you can get flower star mushroom for the end level cards, you will get a point. Now, the exciting thing about doing it early is that you don't have to worry about it for the rest of the run. Haxer now knows that he's got to think about it by World 3. Almost forgetting the turtle shell as well. You see? You see what I mean? Like, he might have been thinking about it. It could have got to his head. I don't know. I don't know, but that gave Ibuba the opportunity to catch up a little bit here. Haxer kills the sun, and Ibuba kills the sun. So, they're both going to be awarded that point right there. Woo! Haxer getting the flower, but not... <laughs> not when he wanted the flower. Not not when he wanted that flower. Right on. Still getting movements of two for both these runners. Right on. If Ibuba can get a mushroom here, he will get that point right away. And uh, let me just go ahead and talk a little bit about these two runners. Haxer is a very, very impressive high-speed speedrunner in this game. Uh, where Ibuba is as well, and Ibuba gets the Flower Star Mushroom. So we're gonna scroll down, and we're gonna award him that point for Flower Star Mushroom. Hacks are getting a movement of one, not gonna be able to get the movement of two. Ibuba also getting a movement of one, not going to be able to get the movement of two point. That's okay, that's a really hard RNG point to get. But neither runner. So Ibuba does have the advantage, but at the same time he doesn't because Haxer can still get the Flower Star Mushroom. Both runners going to the Mushroom House. Haxer gets a Fire Flower. That is huge. What does Ibuba get? Also a Fire Flower. Oh my god. Okay, so if you get a Fire Flower from a Mushroom House, you do get a point. That is another RNG point. But both runners got that. So Haxer must be thinking that he has an advantage by getting that lucky. But he doesn't. He doesn't have that advantage. They both got lucky. Ibuba is also thinking, wow, I just got lucky. Okay, I, you know, I have this. This, this is a point. Right? If you don't get that fire flower in the first mushroom house, in the second mushroom house, in the third mushroom house, I mean, you're just bleeding so much time. Wow, that was cr I can't believe they both just got that. This is- this is incredible. Alright, Hacks are getting a flower, which means he can now start his flower star mushroom again. Ibuba also. Wow, man, these runners are very close. Insane. I can't believe it. That was, that, that was awesome. Um, okay, yeah, so, Axer is a very, very good uh, SMB3 runner. He's very fast. He's got, he's got like a 51, 20 something, and I think Ibuba has a 52 something. Um, so, based on speed, Haxer would make Ibuba the underdog. However, Ibuba has gotten very, very good in this tournament, obviously, with the fact that he's in the finals, but he's gotten very good at collecting and generating points. No 
Oh no. All right, they're both on the airship. So that is all the points left for them to get in World 2. They can't really get anything else here. Um, as you can see with the points, it, it starts off a little slow and then gradually gets big with the points, as you can see. So um, the only other thing is that World 7 is a little less... World 7 is a little more passive in Season 2. And that's mainly because uh, Season 1, World 7 was super heavy. Haxi with the fire kill goes for the off-screen wand grab, doesn't get it. Ibuba also going for the fire kill. Nice. Both runners getting the fire kill. This is really good. Very, very nice. Alright. Ooh, this is so good. 7 to 8, but Haxer is on his way to be getting 8 points as well. So in World 3, they have three options here, guys. They can get Door 3, which is entering the third door in the fortress and going back through that door. It's a single frame trick. Very tough. Not RNG. Getting no water battles. So fighting the Hammer Brother on no water tiles. You can see the water tiles in World 3. And getting... World 3 is the first world where you can start and get the special tile. And the special tile is a specific tile in the overworld of World 3, 5, and 6 where a Hammer Brother can give you an item. So if you don't get in World 3, you still have World 5 and you still have World 6 to get the special tile. Good stuff. 3-1, not overly exciting, um, but it is a start entry to the water levels. Haxer gets the Flower Star, so he just needs the Mushroom here. And then he is tied it back up with Ibuba. Haxer gets a very unfortunate movement there. Close to Runaway, bro. That is going to be a big deal. Ibuba also close the runaway, bro. Both runners, morale has to be dropping a little bit. A little bit of fear here. And Ibuba not getting the early P speed. So he's going to have to take it slow, lose some time. Haxer did get early P speed. And that's the kind of stuff we were talking about. Haxer gets the flower star mushroom. So he has now tied it up with the points. Let's see. Does he get runaway? Does he not? Let's see what happens. He does get runaway. He's shaking his head right now because that is a very bad thing. And let's see what happens to Ibuba right here. Who knows? The Hammer Brother might run back. We don't know. Ibuba doesn't get runaway. So this could be a, a good chance. A, a little bit of RNG swing um, to give Ibuba an opportunity to maybe come back with speed, right? With, with the time, the time points. Even Ibuba himself assumes that Haxer will finish before him. So he is going to be um, going for those points. But that could create a pro- Oh, and he comes back! The luck! I have seen that two times in the past couple days with Haxer in his attempts. Does not go for door three. He does not like losing the door three time. Ooh, and Ibuba gets a water battle! But he's going to use a music box to avoid the water battle. And he's sitting there right now. He's thinking about what just happened. This is interesting. And he's going to go for door three. He does not get door three. Haxer gets runaway, bro, again. So he's going to have to avoid it. This is very interesting. Um, unfortunately, Ibuba did use that music box, though. And Haxer still has his music box. Wow. Okay, well, neither runner got door three. And... Don't think, let's see. I don't think Ibuba can get. Ooh, Haxer got the bear. Ooh, he ran out of there. That was close for Haxer. But he's going to be able to get out of there. Both runners are going to have to fight the fortress. Ibuba's in a really good situation here. The Hammer Brother can move left or down and he can skip him. Or if the Hammer Brother does run away, he can still use his cloud. Either way, he's, he's good. And it looks like Haxer is going... Ah, there we go. And Ibuba is going to get a clear shot right here. Going to use his cloud. Get the heck out of there. Yes, okay. He wants to make sure... Double check his item inventory. These runners, on top of everything that they're doing, they have to make sure that no two of the same items in their inventory can touch. If they do that throughout the whole game, they get points. And Haxer does get the H jump. Both runners avoid water battles in World 3. Neither of them fought a Hammer Brother. Neither of them even fought a Hammer Brother, so they don't even have to worry about that. So they do get awarded the no H2O Battle Bros. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Haxer does have a lead, and Ibuba also gets the H jump. You love to see it, guys. Let's get some H spam in the chat. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. All right. So Haxer does have the lead. However, they are tied in points. 
Remember, iBooba lost his last races in time, but he had more points. This is the SMB3 points tournament. This is not SMB3, I'm faster than you, so I always win tournament. No, 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 no. This is what puts the healthy spin on making more modern, retro, competitive gaming. And that's the whole point behind this. They're very exciting. So Haxor does have a good chunk of lead here, but they're both gonna have to fight the fortress. We have seen one runner in the tournament accidentally use the one hammer that they have in World 4, and that caused them to have to do 6-1 and 6-3. I know not everyone out there in the crowd knows exactly how the tournament works, or how the speedruns work, but... You only get- you only have two hammers. You have one hammer to use in World 4, and one hammer to use in World 6. Now, they avoided the hammer in World 3 here, as you can see they didn't find any hammer, so they only have one hammer. So they don't want to use the hammer in World 4, they want to use it in World 6. Makes it very, very exciting. So, as Haxer is fighting the boss, it gives me an opportunity to let you guys know in World 4, it is the first world where you are punished for not going fast. If you look at the tracker in the bottom left here, sorry, in the bottom left right here, if you do not get a 288 or higher in 4-3, or yeah, in 4-3, then you lose a point. So it's the first time where I ask you guys to go fast, and if you don't go fast, you get punished. All right, Ibuba's gonna go for the fire kill as well. Boom. Right on. Absolutely fantastic. Whew. Both runners are tied here. And here we go. World 4. Axe is gonna start. He's gonna start with 4-1. Right on. He's gonna go for P speed. He's not gonna use the shell. He's gonna want to use the P meter manipu- Well, it's not really much of a manip manipulation, but uh, you do have to be very specific on how you build P speed there or else it will not work. And he does get it. Does get it. Very nice. So, Haxer's about a level a level ahead of Ibuba here. Yeah, it's looking, lo yeah, looks almost exactly the same amount as level. Haxer not getting the most ideal movement here. Hopefully, hopefully it doesn't affect him. Ibuba not going for P-Speed strategies. This has been his thing. He doesn't go for P-Speed in 4-1. And you know what? I respect that. I respect it because all tournament, he hasn't gone for P-Speed. And I mean, he could go for P-Speed. It's so easy to grab that first red turtle shell and actually be faster than what he just did. But he goes with what's comfortable, and I respect that. That's what I ask of every runner. Stay within your comfort zone. Axel getting a movement of four, not enjoying it. He is going to use the P-Wing, though. Or, sorry, the music box, which is strange. This is not 100%. We'll see how it goes. Haxer in 4-3 right now. The level that he can't make a mistake on. Well, he can, he just can't get 288 or lower. And it looks like he's not gonna get punished. You don't get a point. You don't get a point or anything. You just don't get a point taken away, man. These guys are working hard for these points, right? So that's the last thing you wanna see is um, working hard and then getting a point taken away. And uh, I will have to say 4-3 is kind of a little bit on the easier side. So having that added pressure makes the level fear feel weird in this tournament set. Axe gonna go for the Fast Fortress. He does get the Fast Fortress without a star. He cannot afford a star. And Ibuba also not getting punished in 4-3. Yes, you love to see it, guys. You absolutely love to see it. The other points in this world is when you get the cloud from the Hammer Brother, Haxa's gonna get the cloud right here. Ooh, Ibuba with a little marathon. Go, you gotta go. You, can't, you don't have time to think. All right, so Haxa just got the cloud item, right? He has to get the P-Wing after the cloud here from the next Hammer Brother. Ooh, and Ibuba does take the damage. This fortress is not an easy fortress to deal with. Very, very difficult. And that's the kind of stuff that I was talking about. The slight differences, you see that, between uh, Haxer and Ibuba. But again, it's about the points. It's okay to make these mistakes. Not the end of the world. He does have a Fire Flower in his inventory as well, so boom, he could just, he could just equip that and be on his way, which I think is a pretty good idea, depending on his inventory, though. It's very important what his inventory has to show. Ah, uh, it looks like he's in the clear. Looks like he's in the clear. And Haxer doesn't have a music box, but is this the P-Wing? That is the P-Wing, so Haxer is going to get the... Right? Because he got the P-Wing right after the clouds. Very good for him. He's not gonna go for the star, though. Nice, Ibuba going for the quick lack 2 right there. 
Right on. He's gonna go for the little super swim. He gets it. Is he gonna get sniped? Almost gets sniped there, dude. I hate that Lakitu. He's all over the place all the time. He never stops. He never stops. Ooh, Haxer with the amazing coin count right there. I booba, come on. Almost did the same coin count. Haxer getting a little screwed over there. He's gonna have to fight the extra hammer, brother. If if I booba gets the star here. No, 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 no. If that's the star, that's a good idea. You don't have time to be sitting around. Move! Decide! Go! Just go! Figure it out! Just go! Thank you! Okay, if this is the star... This is not the star! Alright, Haxer does get early P-Speed in the fortress! And Ibuba cannot get the, uh, the, the point there because this is the star. Not much he can do about it! It was not worth sitting around though. It's definitely not worth sitting around. That's okay. Nice, and that is the P-Wing right there. Nice. So Haxer is going to be out of here. So Ibuba is falling behind a little bit with time. That was to be expected. That was definitely to be expected. Right on. So again, when you finish World 4, the Peach's letter gives you a P-Wing. If the last item you get in World 4 is a P-Wing, then you're going to have a problem in your inventory. You're going to have two of the same items touching. Remember, these runners are trying to make sure that they don't have two of the same items touching in their inventory. They get big points at the end of the game if they can do that. They get big points at the end of the game if they can do that. All right. Ibuba shouldn't be doing the Mushroom House at this point because he now has to do a triple screen scroll, which costs time. Right? If he did this after he did the Fortress, then he could go straight from the Mushroom House to the castle. But watch now. He's got to scroll back. Then when he finishes the Fortress, he's going to have to scroll back again. Ibuba getting early P-Speed. Very nice. So, unfortunately, Ibuba is only down by one point, which <laughs> honestly is not that big of a, t of a time loss there. Not that big. Not that big of a time loss. I'm going to keep my eyes on Discord to see if Ibuba does... See, now he's going to have to screen scroll back. You see, he could have saved two screen scrolls there if he did the Fortress first, but that's okay. That's okay. All right. Ibuba is now joining him. I'm watching Discord right now. No lifeline. I haven't heard any mention of anything yet. I wonder if he's saving it for race two if race one is close. So there's two different plays you can use on a lifeline here. Uh, he's standing still, so maybe he's typing in chat. No, no Discord message yet. Okay, so I, I guess he's not going to use it. That's fine. So th I think there's two different plays you can use for the lifeline here. I think the, the, the one play is you can use your lifeline in race one to make sure that race one is close to your opponent. So that it's all about race two. Or if you do get lucky and get close in race one, you can use your point, you can use your lifeline in race two to gain the advantage. Now Haxer has already used his lifeline, so he uh he cannot ask me for any help or any information. And I booba can. Hey, how's it going, Twitch chat? I have an opportunity to kind of open up chat and ask you guys, how are you doing? How are you enjoying the finals so far? Are you guys enjoying the finals? It's going pretty nice. It's going pretty smooth. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Right on. Woo! All right, here we go. Haxer. All right, so, World 5. World 5 has some interesting points here. All right? Nice hacks are gonna go for the early P speed in 5 1. He oh, and he falls down. That's okay, he doesn't get it, but he does a nice recovery. So, in world five, what they want to get is they want to match a mushroom in the spade roulette game. They want to get 280 or higher in the twisty castle, and they want to make sure that they don't mess up moving around on the overworld map. They don't want to bump. A bump is whenever you move too fast or too slow on the overworld map when the game hasn't allowed you to move yet. You make a bumping sound. Very nice on Ibuba's side, dude. Fi fla um, doing a fire kill on the World 4 boss is not easy, so actually impressed. That's good. Haxer, as you can see, has the big time advantage, but remember, like I said before, Ibuba has lost his races with time and has come back with points. Haxer getting a movement of three, pretty sure. No bumps on the overworld map. They both have used their music box, so they both only have one left. Nice, Haxer's gonna go for the P-Speed here. 
Axter, the last item in his inventory is a P-Wing. So if he gets the P-Wing bro here, he's kind of screwed over a little bit. Nice, I have Booba going good. As long as these runners don't bump on the overworld map. This isn't like Super Mario World. In Super Mario World, all you have to do is press the direction and Mario will walk automatically to the map. Very nice, Hammer Brothers switched. And to say that's some pretty good RNG, he's also going to be able to get the special tile. That's going to be really good for him. It's the Mushroom Mushroom. Ooh. He gets the Mushroom Flower. Not going to cut it. However, he is going to be able to get special tile here. If he remembers, I hope, I think he does. You think he knows? And he does get the special tile. So we're going to scroll up. Back here in World 3, special tile. Very nice. He's going to use the music box here. Avoid that, bro. Use the star. He wants to use the star because he wants to get the 280 or higher. But he doesn't get the match roulette game. And Ibuba is closing in. Ibuba is now going to be doing the fortress as well. Everything that Haxer just did, it is now Ibuba's turn to do. Ibuba in a great situation to not have to use a music box here. This is really good for him. He does have a music box, but he doesn't have to use it here. Nice. Ibuba makes the jump over the lava pit, does the turn back. Nice, he does the turn back jump. I like to see that, keep that P-Speed. Very nice in the door. It looks like Haxer is going to be able to get the 280, go slow. He doesn't want to slip around the vine. 281, and he gets the 280. Very nice. Very, very nice. Ooh, the Hammer Brothers. Ooh, the Hammer Brothers do a movement that you don't want to see on Ibuba's side, but it is now Ibuba's turn for the Mushroom. Roulette. Does he get it? He does not get it. He's gonna have to try again. Neither Haxer or Ibuba matched a mushroom in the roulette game. Very unfortunate. He is, however, gonna have to use the music box, but that's okay. Both runners are gonna go for the music box in World 5. Both runners had to use it. It is now Ibuba's turn to try and get 280 or higher. And just like that, Haxer does get early P-Speed in 5-5. That is a very tough level to get that early P-Speed. Very, very stressful. But he does nail it. He's got to be He's gotta be feeling good about that. Nice. Ibuba keeping the P-Speed. It's looking pretty good for Ibuba. Haxer gets a little scary movement there. You don't want to get the movement of four. Haxer's going to try his second chance here. Mushroom. Ooh, Mushroom Flower. And he, he rapidly taps A to get out of there as fast as he can. As long as Ibuba doesn't slip on the vine. He almost slipped off. 281 as well. And Ibuba's going to make sure that Haxer doesn't get the high advantage of points on him. Wants to make sure he doesn't get that high advantage. Ibuba not getting the opportunity, though, for the special tile. He's got one chance left, and that's in World 6. One chance left, and that's in World 6. Nice. Haxer does get some pretty good RNG there. The Hammer Brother did run, run around for a little bit, which sucks. Ibuba not getting the best RNG, but the Hammer Brother is moving back for Ibuba. That's good. Ibuba not getting early P-Speed. That's okay. He's going to get the backup P-Speed, which is just as good. Nice. Hacks are now in the fortress. The lava is very scary. You got to watch out for it. Not the easiest to, to maneuver around. Sometimes you clip into the ledges and you die anyways. Uh, it's very stressful. Ibuba getting extremely bad RNG in World 5 here, but he's going to try his second chance at the Spade Roulette game here. Get some mushroom. Get some mushroom. Oh, and he gets the mushroom, and Haxer is not going to go to the other spade card. So that is going to be a point advantage that Ibuba has on the Haxer. There you go, right? So just like that, Haxer does get the uh, Cloud P-Wing point in World 4, and Ibuba doesn't, but Ibuba does get the spade roulette game, and Haxer doesn't. There you go. Big point swings right there. Big point swings. Nice. Ibuba close to a coin ship. And Haxer making sure he doesn't bump on the overworld map. So he's not going to get any bumps right there. No bump zones. And I'm pretty sure Ibuba has not bumped on the overworld map yet either. So as long as he plays well, he can still maintain being behind only by one point. Which is absolutely incredible. Alright, he makes it in that pipe. That dry bones there, man. What a troll. Always in the way. Ibuba did use his music box, so he has to get the music box from this hammer, brother. He has to get it. No bump. Nice. 
Unless that was a bump, but I don't think so. You hold the direction when you finish the level. So you don't you don't actually have to worry about bumping when you when you first beat the level. But if you want to take it slow, it's very, very worth it, it's so worth not having not having to worry about it. You should just take your time. Even hacks or even some of the best runners of this entire tournament always took it slow in World 5. There's no point in rushing, there's no point in ruining your opportunity for a point like that. You do not you do not want to lose that opportunity. All right, last chance for Ibuba to get out of there without a bump. Use Cloud. No bumps for Ibuba. And look at that, full clear world five for Ibuba. Very nice. Hacks are going off screen, one grab, not securing it, and he is out of the airship. One person off the airship, the other person on the airship. Right on. Right on, you love to see it. Very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. All right, here we go. World 6. World 6 has a good chunk of RNG points in it. That's why I like World 6, right? These runners are doing skillful tricks to try and get as many points as they can. And then World 6 has got a couple RNG. 279 or higher, though, is not an RNG point. So both runners are going to have to work hard for that. Hacks are already getting an up pattern with the Hammer Brothers. So he's not going to be able to get that RNG point. You have to get all low, low patterns with the Hammer Brothers in World 6 if you want to get a point. But Hacks is not going to be able to get that. Right. He's gonna go for the 279 or higher. Jumping around, he does make it. It all depends on how he gets over this gap right here. He doesn't do the rub. This is looking great for Haxer. That is the most, one of the most important jumps for the whole thing. He doesn't get his P-Speed back though. However, he does. Oh, and he makes it through, he's good. He should be able to get the 270. The 279, there it is, right there. 279 for the Haxor. All right, so that's, that's, he didn't get the up patterns though, so this could be interesting. All right. So both of the Hammer Brothers on Hacks of Screen are on the special tile in World 6. He does get the P-Speed, very nice. 6-4 P-Speed, that's gonna give him a nice good time advantage. Ibub is definitely gonna have to do a little bit more to catch up here. I mean, we still have 7-1 and we still have the hands though, so I mean, a lot, a lot can change. The last item in these runners inventory was a hammer and they're going to use it and they have a cloud. So Haxer is actually going to have to go back to the mushroom house. Oh, and I booba. Ooh, he's got to use the P-Wing. That's okay. Hey, that's worth it. That's worth it in my opinion. He was going to use the P-Wing on the fortress anyways, which means he can now just use the leaf and hopefully he knows the strategy with, with just the leaf. He's going to use the P-Wing anyways. All right. He's going to use a P-Wing. I don't know. I think he's going to go for wall jump. We'll have to see. Nice. Hacks are using a P-Wing as well. He's going to go for the despawn strategies. Nice. Ibuba coming down. Ibuba's looking good to get that point. He, he didn't know this, but for so somehow Ibuba, he just knew he couldn't afford not getting this fortress point and he's going to get it. That's amazing. He needed this point and he got it. 279. Right? Not letting Haxer get any chance with the points here. Not letting Haxer get any chance. He's gonna have to go for the hammer suit and the mushroom house to make sure he doesn't, doesn't mess it up. Hammer Brothers are not particularly in the best spot for him. He's not gonna be able to get the early P-Speed, but that's okay. Nice, Haxer getting somewhat bad RNG. He finally gets a low pattern from the Hammer Brothers, but a little too late there. A little too late. No runners getting fanfares. No runners getting coin ship. Looking, looking good for these runners. All right, Ibuba is going to have to do the mushroom house as well. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt to do the mushroom house. Both runners had to do it. Very nice. He does get a leaf. Hopefully when he fights this hammer brother, the other hammer brother goes left across level five. That'd be really good for him. Ooh, this is scary. <laughs> okay, he's good, he's good. God, that's always so scary. You have to stay close to that hammer brother. You have to go right in there. Stay very close to him. If the hammer brother moves left. Ooh, nah, he's still in a good position. The hammer brother can move up. Ibuba is out of P-Wings. 
He's out of P-Wings. What's he gonna do? He's got none left. He's used three P-Wings in this world. He's got a wall jump. Right? He gets the despawn. Nice. Haxer is not out of P-Wings. Oh, he's gonna use an extra star. He doesn't want to have to worry about it. I don't... Oh, flopping around there. Come on. Nice. He gets it. Oh, Ibuba gets the special tile. And just like that, guys, Ibuba is back in with the special tiles. Tied it up. Tied it up in points. Right? You have... <laughs> Incredible. He's gonna go for it. Yup, he's gonna go for it. And just like that, guys. Come on, Haxer. 643, man. We need it. Someone's gotta get it, man. Someone. Come on. Ah! Oh, <laughs> come on. So close. And Ibuba is going to get the special tile. Use his hammer. Special tile right there. 15 to 15, ladies and gentlemen. Insane. Insane. I can't believe it's tied up right now. In World 6. I can't believe it's tied up. <laughs> this is crazy. Haxer does have a big lead though, so Ibuba might lose the one point, right? He might lose the one point for getting second place, but that's it. So I, there's still so much game left. Ibuba has to make sure he does not get fanfare here. If he gets the star, not only will he get too many lives, um, which is definitely gonna mess, he's gonna get punished, but he's also gonna lose another point for fanfare. It's very important not to, not to doink around in here. No doinking. No doinking, he does get it. Very nice. That was actually pretty close to a star. That was pretty close to a star. All right, Haxer has a chance to get one more point here in World 6 by getting the fire clip here. Clip in the fire. Ibuba's gonna go for the wall jump here. Oh, Ibuba could've got it first try. Oh, and Ibuba not getting the A press. He got very good pixels. Ibuba doinking around here. No, oh, he's jumping in a very, very bad spot here on the ledge. He's got to jump a little bit. About 75% onto the big ice block is where you have to jump. There you go. He does get the wall jump. And just like that, Ibuba is out of there. Very nice. Very, very nice. Look at that, guys. All right. Ibuba has got to equip something here to try and get this. What's he going to equip here? Uh, he can't do a leap. He can do Tanuki. Yeah, do Tanuki. Take damage. Come on, Ibuba! Quit sitting around! Staring at it, it's not gonna... <laughs> Alright, there we go. Alright. Six, four, three clip. Two points. This would be huge. Right here. No one's got it once this tournament. Oh, Ibuba's not going for it. He does not want to take damage. I think because he doesn't have another item to use, he doesn't want to mess around. Which, I respect that. That makes sense. I get it. I get it. Alright. Haxer, you have five tries to get 7-1. Five tries to get 7-1. If you don't do it in five tries, you don't get a point. You need to go for the sub-pixel manipulation, so what's he gonna do here? One. Two. Three! He does get it within five tries. He gets a third try, and just like that, he is out of there. Very nice. Alright, let's move the tracker down a little bit closer to, to some of these next points here. Alright. Very nice. If Ibuba gets Fire Clip though, and 7-1, Ibuba will take the lead in one point. Which means getting in second place will not matter. Haxer using a star, he's gonna go for the early, not not early, early P-Speed, but he's gonna go for the, the easy, very consistent P-Speed strategy for this level. Because you do want to make it over this little pipe gap right there. That is a very important pipe gap in this level. If you fall in there, you're trapped. Ooh, taking damage from that stupid Piranha Plant that's always in the way. All right, Ibuba gonna go for the fire clip, and Ibuba gets the fire clip, and just like that, now it, it is all about the 7-1. Wow, and just like that, it's tied up. Oh, wow. Ooh, this, is getting, this is getting pretty hot right now. Actually, he can use his fire flower. He needs to delete a lot of, he needs to wash out and start dumping his inventory. He has to start dumping his inventory. The way that you earn the two points from no items touching is all you have to do is get to the point where it's impossible for 
two items to be touching. And then you are awarded the two points. iBoobas had a really, really rocky uh, inventory game. Kind of a little all over the place. Not... He hasn't meant to, but, you know, sometimes there's not much you can do about it. Haxler is entering Item Abuse Island. I'm going to use his P-Wing. Very nice. iBooba does have a P-Wing now. It's just he's only got one. So I think he's going to have to clip in 7-6, which hopefully he doesn't lose too much time. I mean, I don't want to see him get 60 minutes. I don't think he will, but... Oh, man. You don't want to be clipping for a minute and a half, right? And then get all three hands. I mean, get the point, sure. But, I mean, you don't want to get punished for over 60. That's for sure. All right, five tries, Booba. One. Wasted. Two. Wasted. Three. Oh, we almost got it. Four. All right, last try. Oh, and he does not get it. So, he's not going to get the, the seven one points. He did waste two attempts, though. Two attempts. He did waste. There's a wasted attempt. There's another wasted attempt. Four wasted attempts. Gotta get that aim. Gotta get that aim, bro. 7-1. Could've got a first try. I mean, th those attempts where he, he missed the wall completely could be the ones. He's getting very bad RNG right here, though. And he gets it. There we go. You'd love to see it. He's still tied up, though. So that... That is like... I don't want to say best case scenario in this situation, but that's also completely fine. He got the fire clip on the airship. He's doing he's doing okay. Whew. All right, Haxer has another opportunity to get a point here. He's got to get the mid clip in this level. The mid clip is a wall that's followed. The, the, there's a little gap in the ground, and then there's a wall. It's coming up right here after the after the paracoupa here. He's gonna have to go for a clip here. He's got two tries for it, though. I'm, I know, I'm generous. I know. Doesn't get a first try. One more try. Oh, and he gets it! That is very good for Haxer. He does get it. Second try. Gets the mid clip, and he is out of there. As soon as I booba ties it up, Haxer goes, turns around, takes the lead back from him. Very, very nice. Nice, and I booba making great work of 7 2. He's now on 7 3, which is obviously the worst level for me. All right, Haxer uses music box. Haxer uses cloud. I can't give him. I can't give him the two points just yet because he has a star and a hammer suit. Just want to make sure he doesn't do anything weird by forgetting to use a star in World Eight. I don't know. I don't know what can happen, but he is now on the airship. Very, very nice. He is now on the airship, looking good. All right. Now we get a chance to watch Ibuba. No items in Ibuba's side are touching. Is iBooba going to remember to take some damage here? He's got to take some damage so he has an easier time for the clip. He's going to use the P-Wing. Oh, he's going to use the Leaf, the Cosmic Brain. That's right. Oh, my God. Okay, he doesn't have to clip. This is even better than I thought. I totally forgot about that Leaf. Nice. His inventory is looking so much better now. This is really good, actually. I totally forgot about the Leaf. He still has his P-Wing for the next level. Very, very nice. Right. Now, is iBooba nervous? Is he gonna do 7-7 for nerves? I mean, I would if I was super nervous. If I was scared, why not? I don't care. Nice. Ooh, dude, this, this, what? <laughs> this race is incredible, man. Both these runners, you can obviously tell that they're the best points runner in the tournament. I mean, look at the points they're throwing out. I, I have to give Zikabi credit, though. Zikabi did extremely well. He was definitely the best player from October 1st to, like, I don't know, October 20-something, 20 28th, right? Uh, up until he lost. It was a very unfortunate loss for him. Oh, my God, so scary, man. All right, so Ibuma is not going. He's he's going for the, the hard strats, man. He doesn't care. And I, ooh, that wall rub. I hope he knows how to avoid this. I'm gonna take it slow. Oh my! <laughs> what? Holy crap! That is a clencher if I've seen one. That... That was too much for me. I couldn't handle that. That was way too much. That was way too much. Alright, so he's gonna no item here. Ma grab the mushroom. Please don't clip. Alright, hacks are gone through the airship. Is Ibuba actually gonna clip here? Oh, he's gonna go for the clips. He gets one first try. If he takes damage here, he's gotta die. Okay. Oh my god! What is this? Can I can I please have your RNG? 
All right, he needs mid clip here. Oh my god, and he gets the mid clip. Absolutely incredible. And just like that, he ties it back up with points. It's unstoppable. What is this? He just got all three first try and walked away with a flower like he's the boss. Oh my goodness. What is this? He's going to use Music Box Cloud and be in the exact same position as Haxor. Is he going to use the star? He's not going to use it, which is fine. All right. Wow. We are in auto scroller land. I even said, please don't go for the clips. Obviously, I don't know what I'm talking about, which is perfectly fine. Which is perfectly fine. Well, being as they're both on airships, thank you everyone for showing up for the points tournament. I hope you guys as the viewers are having an extremely fun time. We really, really would like to keep doing seasons. This is the second season. I've done two seasons. I've done two seasons this year and I want to do two seasons next year. Season three and season four. Every season, the points change. The points from season one are definitely not the same as the points from season two. And the points in season three will not be the same as points from season two. I don't release the points to the runner until about three weeks until the tournament starts so that people can't over practice and get way too good. It's a way of letting people build and progress as they go at the same time. So I just want to thank you guys all for watching and more importantly, I want to thank you guys for supporting. All of the money re uh, generated during this tournament goes directly towards um, funding season three with the cash prizes, the artwork, and all the time that goes into it. So thank you guys, man. Without you guys, this wouldn't be anything. Perfect time to really thank you guys on these airships. Not a whole lot going on right now, so I very, very much appreciate it. Without you guys, it'd be nothing. So thank you. Thank you very much. But both runners are on the airship. World 8. Let's take a look at the World 8 points, guys. We got World 8 points right here. Okay. So, Haxer's going to be the first one to try and go for Wrangless here. Oh, and he gets the worst pattern possible. Not Wrangless. If he would have killed that Hammer Brother without throwing that Boomerang, he would have got a point. That is another opportunity for Ibuba to get a point advantage on Haxer. It does look like Ibuba, on the other hand, or it does look like Ibuba is going to get second place in this race, but we don't know. We have seen someone die on this airship. So this is very scary. Make it, make it smart. Oh my god! When people don't do this battle the way I do it, I get scared because like I've trained myself to make sure I never fail on it. So it's always so scary. All right, all right, world eight guys. 17 to 17 going into world eight. What is this madness? Uh, just a reminder, guys, after the first race, we take about a five-minute break. Let these runners, you know, go to the bathroom, grab a drink, wipe their hands off, take a breather. Uh, it gives me an opportunity to talk with you guys. So whenever this first race is over, don't go anywhere because we have race two. It's the person with the most points after two races. All right, here we go. Boom. And Ibuba is in there. All right, so the points in World 8 is if you get that Hammer Brother that we saw without a boomerang, you get a point. If you get all three hands, you get a point. So you get awarded points for bad RNG, which is pretty good. Um, if you kill, if you save the animals on the Air Force, so don't kill any of the Rocky Wrenches, you get a point. Remember, if you kill the Sun, you get a point, and not taking any damage in World 8 gives you a point. Haxer gets hand number two, so he's not going to be able to get the all hands. So this is an interesting situation. Ibuba is already behind. So without knowing exactly how you guys feel, do you think it's good for Ibuba to get the point from all three hands? He knows he's going to lose the time race. And Haxer does get one hand. So Haxer now needs to go and save the animals, guys. Don't kill any rocky wrenches in this airship and you are awarded a point. We call it Save the Animals. Ibuba does have time. He does have time to get all three hands and not worry about the uh, over the 60 minute mark. Ooh, he's creating a lot of lag there. As long as these runners also don't take, taking damage here is big. There's also wild card points. If they finish the run with 20 lives, exactly, 20 lives exactly, <laughs> they get a point. Oh, Haxer killed the Rocky Wrench! And he's not going to be able to get that point! Oh, that is a big swing! Especially if Ibuba gets Wrangless here. 
I boom against Regulus! What is this madness? Holy crap! This is an opportunity for I boom to get a two point swing on the Haxer. This, that, we have seen, we have seen Zikabi. Zikabi lost because he didn't save the animals. All right? We have seen this before. A big accidental death. Axer is going to use a star here. He has used a star, so I can give him the no items touching in his inventory. He did this entire run without two of the same items touching in his inventory. Absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. Nice. Makes great work of 8-1, and he's out of there. Great work of 8-1, and he's out of there. Axer is having a little bit of the uh, internet issue, guys. A little bit of the buffering. He does use his hammer suit. He's going to go for the sun kill now. Going to go for the sun kill. Nice. He does get the sun kill. Nice. And he's going to get the fast kills right on. So he does get the sun. Remember, the point you get if, if you kill both of the suns. So when you kill this sun, you don't actually get a point, right? But you do get a point if you get both of them. So he is going to get that. He has not taken damage yet. So he's still in the clear. He's going to use his other star, and he is ready to get this run over with. He's ready to get this run over with. Wow, absolutely incredible. All right, Ibuba's turn at the hands here. Ibuba's turn at the hands here. All right, what is Ibuba? He can afford to get all three hands. Oh, and he gets the third hand, which is... Hey, that's not so bad. He got Rangless, right? Not so bad, he got Rangless. All right, let's see if he saves the animal Haxer with the clutch hammer throw, killing that Boom Boom, or as I like to call him, Bam Bams, right away. Very, very nice. Right away, very nice. Nice, working his way through, working his way through. He's gonna last, all right. Save the animals, Ibuba. You need to not mess this up. Axer is on his way to get 20 lives. Ibuba is also going to get 20 lives. He has to make sure he doesn't autopilot Bowser's castle, though. Very important. Uh, Zikubi created a really cool strategy where he stayed on the left side of the rocky wrenches. And they, right, as he goes away there, he stayed on the left side until it spawned again, so he threw the wrenches to the left side always. So we never had to worry about them throwing wrenches to the right side. You see how that wrench is now coming to the right there? Very scary. Is he going to despawn this one? He doesn't despawn it! And he saves the animal. That is huge. That is huge for him. Wow. Wow, that's big. Neither runner is taking damage yet either, which is also really, really big here. This end game is huge. He's gonna use the star, so he does get those two points. Wow. Look at how well these runners are doing World 8 with the pressure that they must be under. Absolutely fantastic for both of these runners to just playing so well. Just playing so well. Use that hammer suit, get that sun kill. Axer gets the one up. He does have 20 lives. He's got to finish with the 20 lives, though. Ibuba gets the sun kill. He's going to have to go slow over this. Axer flip flopping a bit, not getting over that statue. What is going on right here? I don't think he's ever made that mistake before. So, he, you know, he doesn't know that that jump is like an awkward jump without P speed. All right, Ibuba has 20 lives now. He's got to make sure he doesn't get 20 more. And Haxer does finish in first place. He doesn't get the sub 54, though. Wait, he might get it. Oh, he doesn't get it. He needed the sub 54. That would have been incredible. He w that statue prevented him from the sub-54 and actually getting the points advantage. I didn't even realize he was on his way to getting two extra points. That is insane. That statue just actually cost him two points right there. The lower the time, the more points you get. 
He would have he would have had 22 right here. Oh, I Booba takes damage. Oh no, that is that is huge. Okay, Haxer does get first place. Haxer does get no damage though, and he does get the 20 lives. I Booba, you got to do it without fire. Go go go, sitting around is not going to help you. Absolutely incredible. Ibuba can no longer get the no damage, but Ibuba is going to get second place. It looks like they are... Oh, man. It looks like they are going to be tied here, ladies and gentlemen. The exact same amount of points. I'm all over the place in my chair right now. I can't even handle it. I don't... How did... How did Ibuba even take damage there? What happened? The spikes? Did he... Did he let go of down too early on the spikes? I don't even know. Stood up in the spikes. What is that mistake, Ibuba? What is that mistake? You get the 20 lives points as long. You just hold down. You don't have to do anything. I want to see the typical speedrunner response. Oh, I got to clean my controller after this tournament. It was my controller's fault. I love that. I love that. Yes, yeah, switch sounds. Good idea. Sorry. Sorry about that. All right. Well, Ibuba is definitely going to get under 60, which is good. Definitely going to get under 60. He has an opportunity to tie it up here. He had a chance to be ahead by a good chunk of points here. He had a chance to be ahead by a good chunk of points here. All right, here we go. What are you doing, bud? Don't get that. Oh, he knows. He knows. Right on, he gets through. Alright, last room. He's just gotta do he's just gotta do stop Bowser. He does yeah, that's a good idea, man. You have time. Very nice. Alright, this should be free, right? Very nice. All right. How do you guys feel about race number one, dude? How do you guys feel about race number one? That is, that is one of the best races we've had all tournament. I am so proud of these runners and I cannot believe how well these guys are coming for the finals, man. Absolutely incredible. And thank you guys all for being here. This is so awesome. We have one more race after this. Both runners tie it up, and just like that, Ibuba second place with the 20 lives. 22 to 22. Yes. Absolutely incredible. Two. Absolutely incredible. Three, two, one, go! All right, these runners are gone, dude. I'm so nervous. Oh my gosh, okay. Ibuba has a slight delay, so he's gonna start a little bit after Haxer, just like last time, but you know what? That wasn't even a problem. Let's go ahead and give Haxer a little bit of audio here. All right, both runners gonna do their turn back over the plant, grab the mushroom, and get ready to go. Um, the first two points that we're gonna want to see these runners generate in world one is the frame perfect jump at the start of the hammer brother battle and staying in the crouching position on the entire airship very very exciting seven hundred dollars on the line and the title of the best points runner in the tournament Haxer won season one he comes back and wins season two I've given this guy too much money all right come on I booba the underdog definitely earn it if you can take this one home. It looks like both runners are very, very good right now with their peace speed strategies. They're looking pretty good. Looking... They, they have looked so confident. I don't think I've ever been this calm in any competitive form for Mario 3 at all. 
Both runners getting movements of two here. They're going to get the early P-Speed, but they're going to stop the early P-Speed. Make sure they don't get hit by that orb. That orb is dangerous. You take damage there. That is bad news. Hacks are getting the early fly. Ibuba also getting the early fly. Very, very scary. Man, if he didn't get that early fly, he he, he knows he's going to lose in time, but he can't, he can't always keep losing so much time, right? So he knows. He knows that. All right, both runners are going to take the damage. Neither runner has approached the Hammer Brother yet. Ooh, Haxer! Taking the damage, allowing Ibuba to catch up, and Haxer's going to have to get the Mushroom in. 1-6 as well. So Ibuba's actually going to take the lead here. I think Haxer's head got stuck in the ceiling, and that is definitely a you-hate-to-see-it moment. Getting a movement of one though, a little bit of time save, but not really, because Ibuba got a movement of one as well. He's gonna do the bump bump, grab mushroom, and just like that, Ibuba is gonna take the lead. Nice, both runners finishing up, and just like that, very, very close here. I got my Discord open, guys, in case we get the lifeline from Ibuba. All right, frame perfect jump. Oh, Haxer gets it, but Ibuba doesn't. This is huge. And I know it doesn't seem huge, but this is actually really, really big. I mean, just, you guys saw in that last race, that is a big, big difference. However, Haxer now has to grab the Fire Flower well in the crouch position. It just makes this airship a little bit harder than it needs to be. I can't imagine how much these runners have practiced this airship. I, I feel guilty. I literally made runners practice auto-scrollers. It is my fault. All right, Ibuba doesn't have to get the Fire Flower though. All right, looking good from both of our runners here. Don't release that crouch button. Nice, I think Ibuba is gonna let the wall take him. Hax is gonna have to grab it. Looks like he's in the clear. When doing this, the most important thing before even pressing forward is always making sure you're still pressing down. <gasps> Ibuba with the clutch. Oh my God, and they both make it. <laughs> that was so scary for Ibuba right there. And Haxer takes the lead back, actually takes the lead back right there by entering the pipe a little bit faster. Very, very cool. Very, very nice. Oh man, those points are very important. I don't know if in Season 3 I want to stack a, a two-pointer this close in the early game. Because that's, um, that's a big difference. One person getting it versus one person not. That is a very big difference. <laughs> Alright, World 2 is starting to get hot in here. Right? We're in the desert now. All right, so just like last time, all movements of two will grant these uh, players a point and killing the sun. Ooh, Ibuba slipping up a little bit, maybe nerves. Maybe uh, he wasn't focusing. I've definitely messed up levels in tournaments by just simply, right, my eyes are looking in the wrong spot, right? I've been there, I've been there. So maybe, maybe that's what happened, we don't know for sure. All right, both runners getting the off cards. So they don't have to worry about fanfare. Hacks are getting a movement of two to the left. Not what he wants to see, though, because he could get a movement of one right away. Ibuba gets the good movement of two right there. Hacks are actually almost falling into that pit with the slide here. The very, the scariest part, Ibuba not falling in the pit here, but he is going to lose his speed, allowing Hacks to get a little bit more of an advantage. Uh, in season one, you would get a point if you got 292 into the pipe, and they both got 291 and 290. So they didn't get, they didn't, they didn't get any season one points there. All right, here we go. And just like that, Hacks are instantly getting the movement of one and he can kiss that two movements goodbye. Touches the stair here, not gonna be able to get early P speed. And if Ibuba can clutch the early P speed back, ooh, Ibuba also touching the stairs. Not gonna be able to do it, but he is gonna go for the early. Oh, he's not gonna get that P speed either. His backup P speed has not been working for him at all uh, in the finals here. Not the end of the world though. Right on, both have the firepower for the fire kill. Just like that, bam, bam, down. Bam, bam, down. And again, neither of these runners have made enough mistakes to even justify who's gonna get first or second in the time. We know Haxer's gonna go for this music box. Haxer has to be nervous here. He knows that if he skips points and goes for the time points, that's not gonna win it for him. 
right? So he he has to be a little bit out of his comfort zone because he can't rely he can't rely on the time points. I know he was talking about race one. He likes to try and push through, get points, but also go for time. And then race two, or sorry, race one, he likes to push through, get some time points, a couple of little points here. And then race two, depending on how many points ahead he is, he can go for points or not even try and go for points. He can go for time, time, time points, points, time. What you do in race one versus race two is actually very important. Right, and I Boobus Hammer Brothers are both at the bottom. Still getting movements of two, though. You know, Haxer has already gotten his movements of one. Ooh, Haxer's got the Hammer Brothers in a good position here. Wow, I, how did I Boobus not take damage there? That was incredible. I could have sworn he would have taken damage. Nice, Haxer does get the kill with the sun. Ooh, takes the damage, but that's actually okay. Not the end of the world. Ibuba getting another movement of two right here. Ooh, if this is the hammer and then gets the music box, that's pretty good, but I don't think this is the hammer. No, okay, that is the music box. Haxer's gonna have to do some loop de loops because the hammer brother was not working nicely. And Ibuba gets a movement of one, so too bad. Not gonna have to worry about it. Both of them in this level. Haxer not having fire flowers, so not gonna be able to do the strat we just saw Ibuba do. But Ibuba is catching up. Haxer does get flower star mushroom, and does Ibuba also get it? Ibuba also gets it! Nice! Both runners do not have to worry about that for the rest of the game. That is good. Haxer with the amazing... Ooh, what is that? Is that not the hammer? Am I crazy? What happened? What's going on here? Did Hax Haxer didn't get an early hammer, I know that. He's so what's... Let's go to the mushroom house here. See what Ibuba gets. Ibuba gets the mushroom, doesn't get the fire flower. Haxer hitting some blocks, making sure he doesn't get. Making sure he doesn't get, what, a coin ship? Very confused. Does he have some cosmic play that we don't know what's going on? What the? He just skipped the hammer! Alright, Haxer's got some new strats that we don't know about. He didn't go for the mushroom. He's got some new strats that we don't know about. <laughs> we do not know what's happening right now. <laughs> this is exciting. I don't know what's going on. This is very exciting. All right. Axel does have the lead by one point, though. It looks like Haxer has marked himself down for getting all movements of two in World 2, but can we just get a judge to confirm that he did get a movement of one right after 2-2? Two, two? Can we get a judge to go back? He he hasn't marked down that he got all movements of two in World 2, but I'm I'm 100 percent certain he got a movement of one right after 2-2. Two, two. Thank you very much, judges. Want to make sure. Don't want to miss any points, but I'm quite certain he got a movement of one. They both got movements of one. It is unfortunate if he skipped the hammer based on that information because sadly he did get the movement of one. But we'll have to double check. You guys will have to go back and listen to make sure. You guys, the judges have to go and listen to make sure. All right, well, while the judges are on that, we are now going to enter world three. There's some points to be confirmed movement of one. Wow. <sighs> Ouch. That could lose him the game right there because he doesn't have a point he thinks he has and he skipped the hammer. Okay, okay. This is interesting. Not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. This is... This is exciting. Alright, here we go. Not a whole lot going on in 3-1. This has been a very crazy finals. Right? It, it's crazy. You, I don't think Ibuba would ever think that a mistake like that would happen. Now, Haxer does have to do an extra level, but again, with time, that's not actually going to cause him a problem. He just doesn't have the points that he thinks he has. These runners are tied in points right now. 
Or no, sorry, they're not tied. They're one point difference. All right, Ibuba making his way through 3-1. Haxor does get early P-Speed, and he is good to go. Very nice. Oh, oh, misses the card. He does grab it, though. He's good. I have been there before. All right, here we go. Ibuba getting a pretty safe movement. He's going to go for early P-Speed here. Not in coin ship realm. Hacks are getting pretty decent movements here. It's going to be very frustrating if he's going to have to use his music box here. You definitely don't want to use that music box in World 3. That's not something he wants to use. All right, having a little bit of slip-ups here. Is the steam running out? We don't know. He's still in the lead, though, so he's still good. He's just got to snap it back. Pull it together, dude. We know you can do it. This is like You're, you're doing perfectly fine here. Ibuba is slowly catching up, though. Is Haxer going to go for door three? Oh, and he gets the water battle. He's going to have to use the music box. This is a big mess right now for Haxer. He's definitely got to be out of his comfort zone. Is he going to go for door three, though? Not going to go for door three. I, th I still think that's a good idea if he wants to maintain the time points here. But he is now down a star. And he's down another hammer. So is he going to do... Uh, 441 and 61 and 63. Ibuba is going to go for door 3. Doesn't get door 3. That is very very unfortunate. All right, Haxer is going to get the no water battles though. So he is going to be get that getting that point. And and Ibuba is very very close to runaway bro. So this could be scary for him. Axer getting two stars as well. He can't go back for the hammer. Ooh, Ibuba getting run away. So Ibuba is going to go and avoid it. So Haxer is going to take the time spill here. Which honestly is the best case scenario. If he wants to ensure some points, he's going to sacrifice time for points, which Ibuba does that all the time. So I, I think this is a good idea on his part. I think this is a good idea on his part. Ooh, slipping up. Don't know what's going on here. Oh, he's got... Oh, no. Odds odds change, evens don't. Odds change, evens don't. Odds change, evens don't. So he's in the clear. Ibuba is going to get this special tile. Wow, this run... This run is all over the place, man. This is insane. Ibuba's hammer brother comes back. Ibuba gets the special tile and no water battle. Ties it up just like that. Haxer does get a coin. He now does not have to worry about coin ship. And just like that, Ibuba is out of there. Wow, Ibuba clutches. Haxer got Runaway Bro and Hammer Brother came back, but then it ran away again. Whereas Ibuba got Runaway Bro and he ran back at the perfect time. Holy kablingi. And, and to be honest with you, Ibuba did make the wrong play by going for that special tile with Runaway. He got incredibly lucky there. And you know what? With how unlucky he got in, in race one, not too bad. Haxer, <laughs> three items in his inventory. He's, this is intense. And uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna message Haxer and say that he doesn't have that two movement of two points. Uh, mainly because I don't want to to drop any morale and I don't want to fluster and make anything worse. We can talk about it at the end of the run. You know I can't communi communicate with these guys. I mean they're on their own. You know. But Haxer can still pull it together. These guys are still tied with points. These our guys are still tied with points. <sighs> this is the most wacky. This is an insane race. I love this is I love this finals. These finals are so good. I'm I'm moving around in my chair. I'm bouncing all over the place. How are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? How's, how's the crowd doing? How's everyone at home doing? You guys got your sodi pops? You got your chips, chippies and snackies? I'm sweating too, guys. I'm sweating too. Alright, Hax is going to be the first one to fight the boss. Alright, here we go. Hax is going to be the first one to go into World 4. First one to go into World 4. Right on. The first world where you can get punished a point. <laughs> Jabin's always got a beer and a steak. I love it. It's the best part about Jabin. Oh, this is so intense. All right, chat. I got to close you guys down. I got to get back to work here. This is incredible.
Nine to nine in round two so far. And in round one, 22 to 22. If they stay tied, Haxer will take the win with how much time, how fast he did his runs, right? If they tie in points, it'll be up to the time. So. And Haxer's in a great position to not have to worry about his inventory at all. And that'd be two points right there off the top. However, Haxer is not... I think Haxer is more ahead in race two than he was in race one. So he's looking pretty clean here. He's looking pretty clean here. All right. Ibuba now finishing up. And like I said before, Ibuba is behind a good chunk than last time. However, Haxer is going to have to do the fortress. Ibuba's not. And Haxer has to do 6-1 and 6-3. And I don't know if he's practiced those levels. So we're going to have to see how it goes. Two stars in his cards right now. Is he going to get a fanfare? A fanfare will not only lose him a point, but he's going to get five lives. He's not going to be able to get 20 lives at the end. If anything, he's going to have 21, 21 lives, which would be incredible. Nice. Doesn't get the fanfare. That's what I like to see. I don't want anyone to get fanfares. All right, here we go. Ibuba now joining him in World 4. He's going to go for his patented uncomfortable strats in 4-1. Haxer doesn't have a music box, so he's going to have to chase this hammer brother all the way until level 4, which is really annoying. But he, the other hammer brothers seem to be in a pretty good position. So he's, he's, not, he's not like in the weeds or really out of the weeds just yet. Nice. Haxer makes great work of 4-3. Look, he's looking much more comfortable now. I feel like he's shaken off some of the nerves. That World 3 really tumbled all over the place for him and uh, really put him in a position of, of things that he didn't really have to deal with. The, the slip up in World 2 for the point that he thinks he got it has really just uh, thrown him for a loop. And is going to be slowly catching up here, not having to do these fortresses. And Haxer does... Very nice. See, you can confidently say that he has shaken off the nerves. He's got his head back in the game right now, and he's in gear. Ibuba also equally getting really bad Hammer Brother RNG. All right. Here we go. Don't lose a point here, Ibuba. You have a weird advantage over Haxer right now. So don't lose these points. Haxer with another marathon. Whoa, they almost came back, but luckily for him, they did split. And it looks like Ibuba is not going to be punished. And Haxer did get the cloud first, so he's a chance to get a point here. I think that is the P-Wing as well, so he should be in the clear for those points. Ooh, gets the tip. Just the little tip right there. That's how important the tip is, guys. Nice, Ibuba going to use his hammer. And he's going to get the cloud as well. And just like that, Ibuba has caught up a substantial amount. Look at that. Look at that right there. Right. Nice gets the bounce up. Ibuba gets the P speed here. He's gonna be able to catch up a little bit on Haxer. Hammer Brother switch, but Haxer is in control of which Hammer Brother he wants to get. So he is guaranteed that point if he gets a Fire Flower here as well. Oh, he gets a Fire Flower just when things were looking grim. He is going to secure an RNG point and he's gonna screen scroll here. No, he doesn't need to, sorry. He's gonna get the P wing here. Nice, and just like that, Haxer is starting to clean up some points, right? You think things are looking grim. And Ibuba as well is going to be able to get the P-Wing as well. And just like that, Ibuba. Crazy right here. Ibuba gets the star as well. These runners are neck and neck, but Haxer is actually two levels behind. Haxer is going to have to play World 6 in a way that he does definitely does not want to. Definitely does not want to. like that still no fanfares both players are doing very well in this level making good work these runners are incredibly comfortable and and i is just sniping some guys here right on just like that hacks are gonna go for the early p speed and he gets the early p speed very nice hacks are cleaning up a lot of points in world three i again with the extra screen scrolls here if i gets the fire flower here i just don't even get it <laughs> oh my god! Any advantage that Haxer is trying to get? I mean, it's to it's totally random. It you are not guaranteed to get the Fire Flower from the Mushroom House. You're, you're not guaranteed at all. Ibuba is going to go back. He didn't get early P-Speed. The point lies within the skill behind early P-Speed. Not doing it first try. Oh, Ibuba getting bad RNG again. Well, not, not so much RNG. I, I take that back. Not so much RNG. It's definitely... 
It is not- you have to get this point, Ibuba. It is not worth not going for. <laughs> this is what I'm t this is why this is a point, guys! It's not easy! This is what Haxer needs right now. And there it is! He does get it! Ties up the points! Holy crap! And you have to imagine from the runner's perspective that every attempt that you fail- Oh! And he clipped through the block! Maximum time save for the battle! What? He, he started that battle? <laughs> this is just insane right here. This is- What a finals, guys. Thank you so much, runners. Um, but as I was saying, you have to imagine that for the runner, every time you fail, right? It, it's, it's like it gets harder. Oh my gosh, these runners are still tied right now. All right, moving on to the world five points coming up. Spade card roulette 280 or higher and no bumps in world five. Fantastic. This is a great opportunity to let you guys all know if you enjoy all of this, we're working on a season three. So don't forget to follow. Don't forget to check out season one and the rest of season two on YouTube. And we're going to have a season three most likely in March or May. So don't forget to follow if you enjoy this. The SMB3 point system tournament, every season has different points to keep it fresh and exciting. Do not forget to get involved. Absolutely fantastic. Everyone can qualify as long as you have under 60 minutes. If you can get sub 60 and 90% warpless, you qualify to enter in this tournament for, for a chance to win a cash prize. That's right, first, second, and third. Cash prize for Mario 3. Who wants to make money playing video games? I think everyone. I think everyone does. Season one was was in March as well. We do two seasons a year. All right, I like to say season one is March, season two is October. Every year is gonna be slightly different, right? They're not always gonna be the same. All right, and here we go. And just a reminder, all revenue generated, all of the revenue generated for these, during these tournaments go directly towards supporting a season three and getting these runners more money. Getting these runners more money. I, and I eventually, I want to get to season 11 where people are winning like three grand. Like that's so cool. Oh, and Haxer gets the impressive early P-Speed and 5-1. You love to see it. Ibuba falling behind a little bit. Falling behind a little bit here. Haxer, eh, not getting the most ideal Hammer Brother movement, but not the end of the world. And like I said before, guys, when you beat World 4, the Princess Peach gives you a P-Wing. So if the next Hammer Brother Haxer fights is a P-Wing bro, then he loses the inventory point. Loses the inventory point. Ibuba is definitely quite a good chunk behind, but... Let's see how this goes. I don't think Haxer is really in gear here for a sub-54, but I mean, no hands and, and, and all of that stuff. There's so much. All right, that's actually pretty good for Haxer. That's pretty good. They switched, so he can now get the non... He can now get the non-P-Wing item first. Or he doesn't have to worry about it. No bumps from either runner just yet. I mean, Ibuba just entered, so no bumps on his side. Not too shabby. Very nice. Very nice on Haxer's side. Very nice on Ibuba's side. Boom. Just like that. Very nice. Ooh, I love this. I love this. Not not a massive amount going on, but I think Haxer's going to try the roulette game here. I don't think he has a choice. Alright, here we go, Haxer. You need to start collecting some of these points. Nice mushroom. Ooh, mushroom star. Not mushroom star star. Weird smiley face mushroom hat guy. Nice, Haxer's going to use this music box. He's gonna use the star, man. He wants to guarantee. He wants to guarantee that 280. And Ibuba's slowly moving his way up. If, if Ibuba gets the roulette game again, in round one, Ibuba had the one point advantage on Haxer by getting the roulette game right early. Both runners have the RNG point for the flower, and both runners have the flower star mushroom. Haxer missing the pipe. Is this gonna take it away from him? Nice, Ibuba make it over the lava gap. Does the big turn back. Another turn back jump. Right on. 
Axel with the 286. I think he's in the clear, but it's going to be very close. We gotta get a 280. 281, 280. Oh, and he does get it. He just clears by. Very nice. Haxer does get it. All right, Ibuba. What's it going to be? What's your... What's your items here? What's going on? He's going to go for the spade roulette game. All right, mushroom. Mushroom. Oh, mushroom. What a suspense. Suspense, man, I was sitting there and I kept thinking it was gonna stop. What a suspense and he does get that point advantage He's gonna use the music box. No bump on the overworld map from either runner. He's gonna use the star Nice Haxer gets early P speed insanely impressive Haxer's P speed strategies in world 5 have been top notch man 5-1 and 5-5 Very nice No runners have bumped on the overall map. Ibuba keeping his P-Speed here. Nice. Hacks are going to go for it again. He needs to get this. He can't fall behind in any points. Mushroom. Mushroom. Nice. And Haxer does get it. Wow. Both these runners. Ibuba with 285, 286, 283, 282. Ibuba does get it. And they are still tied right now for these points. Neither runner has bumped. Hacks are clipped through the block. What? Right on. Two runners in this race. In this race, just right now, have both done 7-7 seven, seven clip. Haxer and Ibuba. However, Ibuba did one that actually helped them. Not a lot, though, but definitely helped them a bit. All right, both runners. Ooh, Ibuba with the sexy coin count, and Haxer not having to worry about coin ship here. No runners have bumped yet. Haxer does need that music box, and Ibuba is on the go here. Nice, Ibuba also getting early P-Speed. Ooh, doesn't nail it though. Ooh, he's got 76 coins. Not having to worry about coin ship. All right, Haxer in the fortress here. Right on, Haxer is in the fortress right now. Not really seeing any problems here. Looking good, Ibuba doesn't have to do the spade roulette game anymore and neither does Haxer, so they both clutched it out. When is Ibuba going to use that lifeline? Maybe it won't even help him. Maybe he doesn't care to use it. Maybe he's already used it and I forgot. Ibuba not getting good Hammer Brother movements in World 5 here. But he doesn't slip up like Haxer did in 5-7. Wait, ooh, that's going to be... Ooh, so close. Almost clipped into the pipe. Haxer doing 5-9. One of the easier levels, but it is possible to slip up a little bit. One missed jump, and it's over. All right, very nice. Ibuba avoiding any kind of coin ship by having 78 coins. Same with Haxer, 86. Doesn't have to worry about it. No bumps on Ibuba's side. All right, this last chance for Haxer for the no bumps. And no bumps on Haxer's side. So he's going to be awarded that point for not bumping in the overworld. For anyone who doesn't know, bumping in the overworld is just simply by messing up your movement in the overworld by causing you to slow down. If you take your time and play right and be strategic, you don't have to worry about bumping on the overworld map. Or... If your timing is just absolutely incredible, you don't have to worry about it. So that's uh, one thing these runners have to look forward to. All right, Ibuba's getting all movements of four, just constant. That's all they're doing is movements of four in the bottom section. It's gotta be dropping his morale a little bit. All right, just like that. All right, Ibuba's on his last chance to not bump. I just wanna double check with the judges. I don't think Ibuba has bumped on the overworld map yet. No bump zone. I think it's gonna go for the cloud. No bump zone from either runner, and they are still tied up 15 to 15. These runners are insane, man. Absolutely non-stop, man. Absolutely non-stop. This is incredible. This is incredible. Haxer's gonna be the first one. Although Haxer, hopefully he remembers he has to do 6-1 and 6-3. I mean, he could do 6-2, but I really don't think that's a good idea. Ooh, he got the wall jump pixel too. Could have could have tried for that off-screen one grab. If Haxer hasn't practiced 6-1 and 6-3, this could be a mild disaster, but I know he knows these levels. I know he knows these levels. Mm. All right, let's see. 
Let's see if he goes in the pipe and forgets. I don't think he's gonna forget though. I think he he's he definitely knows, right? Yep, he knows. All right. It's the price he had to pay. All right. He's gonna get awkward cycle. Oh, he's definitely gonna get an awkward cycle at the end here. Very nice. He doesn't want to lose his fire flower. If he starts losing his power-ups, man, he can jeopardize his 279 or higher in the fortress. <sighs> All right, that is a great movement from the Hammer Brother. Actually fantastic. Very nice, 6-3. Nice, he's going to avoid the P-Speed altogether. I think it's a very smart move as well. He doesn't need to go fast. He's just got to get through. Very nice. However, the two extra levels, guys, is this, this going to affect his cards? Is he going to get an extra life from these cards? And I don't think so. I don't think so. At the end of the run, you have no cards. Ooh, he gets bottom pattern. That is great. And just like that, look at that, guys. I, Booba, caught up. They are one hammer brother apart right now. Hacks are getting the hammer. And there goes I, Booba. Hacks does get low pattern. And so does I, Booba. This could be big. I, Booba is not down that P-Wing anymore, though. So I want to see him not... I want to see him not wall jump 6-9 again, because that's just too much. Haxer, wow. Great levels for both runs for, for the castle here. Ooh, oh my goodness. Oh man. He's not going to get the point though. He's not going to get the point. Almost died. Wow. He's playing with death right there. I thought he was dead, man. I don't see how he wasn't dead. He's got to be, he's got to be annoyed he didn't get the point, but he's got to be happy he didn't die. Getting the marathon, getting punished for getting punished. And Ibuba 279, gonna take that point home. Ibuba playing very well, very uh, consistent, not a whole lot over the place. Hacks are not getting the early piece speed, and Ibuba right behind him. Right behind him, Ibuba does have that one extra point. So Hacks is gonna have to rely on 7 1 RNG, a couple other clips here, a couple other skill points from World 8. It's anyone's game still. Axer does get that that movement. He's gonna go to the mushroom house, which is good. He's still he's still being conscious about his inventory items. You cannot let two of the same items touch in your inventory. Iboob is gonna have to do the same thing. Axer getting another fire flower. Where was that all through season two for him? You know, getting those extra points. All right, and Iboob getting the fire flower. Axer gonna do, and he gets low pattern. This could be it. This could be big for Axer. Getting two low patterns, unless Iboob gets low pattern as well. Iboob does not. This is, this is, Haxer gets his point back, right? Depends. Yes, he does. Looks like Haxer is going to be in the clear to get his point back. Especially if he avoids this hammer, brother. Ibuba is not going to be able to get that. What are you doing, Ibuba? What's going on here? The music box. I don't understand. Was there an item that was touching? Was he cosmic braining over me? Did I just get 500 IQ'd? I think I did. I think there was something about that item that I didn't know. So, Haxer's in a situation where if that Hammer Brother moves back to the left, he should go back and get that Hammer Brother. No, Ibuba already has special tile. Haxer does not. That is also not the special tile either. Nice, Haxer used the hammer and he's on his way out of here. That Hammer Brother moves back across. Haxer can get the special tile. See what happens here. Nice, Ibuba using the hammer. Both runners are in the same level. Right on, Ibuba not plundering. Yeah, he's gonna take the damage. Very nice, dude. Ibuba has played extremely well this entire tournament. And the Hammer Brother does move down. Unfortunate for Haxer. Haxer, if, <laughs> if the Hammer Brother moves down, Haxer can go back and get the special tile as well. He can't be in that position. Haxer did get all low patterns, though. Thank you for reminding me. I, I want to make sure I don't forget that. He's not going to get the one up, though. Ibuba does get the movement of one. Ibuba can catch up here if Haxer does have to go back and... I mean, he might have to keep going back and, and looking. If the Hammer Brother moves up, that just sucks. Nice. He can't get the special tile now, and he knows it. He knows it. He's going to get the point advantage here. Now he has the one extra point on Ibuba. But... Ibuba is now going to take the lead. Haxer does get the special point. The special item tile. Nice. And Ibuba did take the lead right there. 
Ayabuba is now in the lead. Gonna use the P-Wing. No wall jump. Very nice. He got the roulette, so he doesn't need the life. Actually using the star here as well. This seems to be his little star place. He's gonna go for this life. No, he's not this time. No, he, he almost turned back. He almost thought he needed to, but he doesn't. I think he does, though. I think I think his cards from 6-1 and 6-3 are confusing his lives count. But he, I think he does still need that life. I'm not sure. All right, here we go. Let's see. Oh, I boom it, got it. What? No way. He did get it. That is, oh, my God. Wow. Does Haxer get it? Oh my god, this is incredible! Ibuba got the floor clip, he got the two points! The last game in the tournament! The last game in the tournament! The last game in the tournament! Was the last Hammer Brother battle? Wow! Oh my god, I've never popped off so hard, that is absolutely incredible! Oh my god! Wow! Yo, Trash Panda is popping off right now. That was insane! I can't believe he got it. I'm sorry if my clapping was like super loud or anything, but that was that was incredible. I Booba should lifeline. He should. He I have so much to tell him. <clears throat> wow. Wow, very last round. Okay, I won't remove- OH MY GOD! And he gets the fire clip! Unstoppable! What is this? What is this? He just got the fire clip! Oh my god. Alright, Haxer, you need the fire clip or else you're just dipping too low here. Oh, first try, come on, clean it up! And Haxer gets it too! This is too much- my- my little heart, guys, my little heart can't handle it. Holy jumping. Holy crap. And Ibuba is in the lead as well. <laughs> what an insane. I, I think that's a good idea to not go for the fire kill, especially if you're not ready for it. <laughs> Ibuba, he got the one one way or another. He got the one one way or another. That might actually set him up for 7 1 first try. All right, let's scroll the let's scroll these down to world seven. All right, they have five tries for seven one. Ibuba had very unfortunate seven ones. Ibuba had a very unfortunate seven one in the last race. So let's see, let's see how it goes here. <clears throat> All right, if he got the wand, like if he pixeled it. Ah, uh, wasted! Alright, second try. Third. Fourth, wasted! Ah, oh, he got bad RNG on that fifth attempt. He does get it though, he stays in the lead. Haxer! One. Two. Three! He needs this, man. He needs this. Four. Oh my god, he needs this so bad. Ah, oh, no! He needed that! Oh, and Haxer's not having the seven ones he wants. There he is. He's in there. Okay, that's good. That's good. <sighs> Using the stars here. Ibuba has a music box. I guess I was wrong with that extra music box uh, usage. I thought he would have had to do the extra level here. Not quite. Haxer having to use the star as well. <laughs> All right, man. One point difference right here. <sighs> All right. 7-3 to 7-2. Neither runner has to clip anymore. We got mid clips. We got 7-3, the garbage level. We know why. We know why it sucks. All right, gonna use that cloud. No items touching in inventory yet for either runner. <clears throat> All right.
right? He's got the leaf. Hey, yep, he's got the leaf, man. We we saw that cosmic play from before. Let's go ahead and give iBooba the audio here. He's in the lead right now. He's, he's earned that audio. Haxer's clutching back, though. Clutching back. He's got the P-Wings. He has two Fire Flowers, though. Make sure you use those. Very important. There's no really op opp like good opportunity to use them, so I think he just has to dump them. Just dump them, right? I do be using that P-Wing. Alright, here we go, here we go. No lifeline yet. Axe are gonna- is he gonna dump? He should dump. Dump one. Yeah, he's gonna dump one, for sure. No, he's not yet. Okay, 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 okay. Alright, Ibuba's made his way past Item Abuse Island as well. He's now on the 7-8. That- oh, that's the scariest jump in the game. By far, the scariest jump in the game. Alright, is Haxer gonna dump it now? When is he gonna- Alright, both runners right here. I really, really need to see Ibuba not- If he used the lifeline, he would know to not go for the clips in 7-9. I mean, he proved us wrong last time, but you already have the lead this time. It's- There's no point. That's all I'm gonna say. He's going for it. He doesn't care. Oh my god, would you stop, please? Oh. I mean, I, I'm not happy, but thank god! He still gets his second try! Haxer used the Fire Flower, which is good. I boop it gets it first try! He just, he's, he can't be stopped right now. He just can't be stopped. He's getting every clip I've ever seen. All right, Haxer. All right, man, you need this, bud. You got it. I boop is gonna... Music box, P-Wing, Haxer, second try. He gets it, Haxer gets a second try. That is really good for him. That is really good for him. Ibuba taking the lead. And just like that, both runners are gonna be out of World 7. Absolutely incredible. Hey, what is happening, guys? What is, what's going on? The entire month has built up to this moment. And this is just incredible. I love... All right, Haxer is definitely in the clear for the points there. I, I know Ibuba is, but he hasn't used his star yet, so I want to make sure. All right, let's move the let's move the cards into World Eight here. Absolutely incredible! All right, no, Ibuba is not lifelining. He's going lifelineless. It doesn't carry over to season three, Booba. I don't, I don't, I don't want to disappoint you here, but it doesn't carry over to season three. I, I Booba the new Zigby. I do have chat open right now because I do want to see how you guys are doing. Uh, these runners are just on auto scrollers. Not a whole lot going on right now. A Haxer is not in the lead. No, Haxer's. Um, he's down by one point. I, Booba, I have not given him the two same items touching yet, which would give him 22. I gave it to Haxer because there's no way he can have two items touching. However, I, Booba does have a star, so I want to make sure. I want to make sure, right? Don't give him points too early, that's all. <clears throat> all up to World 8. Yeah. So... Now, what do you guys think of the point system tournament? Huh? Huh? Pretty good? Yeah, that's right. I love this so much. I can't wait. I, can, I can't already wait. I'm gonna start working on season three freaking tonight. Like, I don't even care. <laughs> yeah, but Iboob is in the lead right now, right? With time. Haxor has always been able to rely on the fact that he is going to beat his opponent with time. And, it, and it's assumed that he's gonna beat his opponent with time, but he's not this time. He is behind by a solid 20, 30 seconds. All right. <laughs> all right, auto scroller land, which sucks, I'll admit it. All right, like six auto scrollers in a row with hands, I'll admit it. Uh, but it makes it intense, man. That's why as a Mario 3 runner, I've always loved. I've always loved World 8 and the, the, the intensity. 
Ibuba did not lose it yet, no, but he still has a star in his inventory, so I want to make sure he doesn't mess up. Yeah, well, I mean, Twitch could have actually put me on the real front page instead of, like, three pages behind, but they don't want to promote more things on their channel, right? They want to, you know, uh, whatever. That's, that's besides the point, you know? All right, both runners are on the tag. It's gonna come down to the hands here with who's in first and who's in second. Haxer has 20 lives right now. Oh no, he's actually gonna get... Wait, no, no, he's in the clear. No, Haxer's good. Haxer is good. Oh, I was scared there for a second. Yeah, no, he's good. He's gonna have two cards at the end. He's okay, he's good. And I hope he knows it. He knows. He knows he's good. I can't believe Ibuba has not used Lifeline. Like, like really? I really would have used it. Yeah, I like to have Twitch chat open for World 8 because a lot of auto-scrollers is a way for us to, like, talk. Not a whole lot for me to really comment on. He's got to dodge, that's right, he's got to dodge the one-up in Bowser's Castle, which the runners have done a very good job not autopiloting. I think they've done a very good job. My night is going fantastic, guys. This is another I'm going to lose my voice night because it's just so incredible. All right, Rangless for Ibuba, let's see. Nope, no Rangless. This is a chance for Haxer, man. Oh my god, this is just too intense. All right, Ibuba touched ground at 47.50. So we'll see how far ahead uh, Ibuba is. His feet touched the Navy at 47.50. Oh, Haxer needed Wrangless, man. Ibuba can get three cards as, as well. Yes, it's okay for Ibuba. Uh, 48.17. Forty-seven fifty to forty-eight seventeen. So he's ahead by a good chunk of time. He he can get a hand and still stay in the lead. Oh my goodness, this is just so sense. I'm gonna use this opportunity, guys. Don't forget to give me a follow if you love this tournament. I don't want you guys to miss season three, season four coming up next year. I don't want you guys to miss world record attempts. Don't forget. Following is the best way you guys can support me. The most free way as well. Unless unless you use Twitch Prime. Don't forget, Twitch Prime is free, guys. Let's not forget about that. Twitch Prime is free, but that's a whole other story. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Ibuba is out of the Navy. No lifeline yet. Like I said, I think Ibuba can get a hand. But if he gets all three, he still gets a point, right? It's a tit-for-tat thing. All right, first hand. Here we go. Right? If Ibuba gets all three hands, gets the point, Haxer gets no hands or one and takes the lead, it, like I said, they're... they're <gasps> oh my god! If he would have taken damage there, that would have been so bad. Wow. All right, that hand was a little bit longer than 20 seconds. It's a chance for Haxer to take the lead here. What happens? Haxer also gets pulled in by hand number one. Ibuba only gets one hand. Here we go. Haxer could get all three hands. He actually needs all three hands here. This is a situation where Haxer wants to get all three hands. If he gets two hands and then one no hand, that's just hurting him even more. Ibuba going for the save the animals. Haxer gets hand number two. This is, this is good. Dude, if Haxer gets hand number three, this is actually insane. <sighs> oh, and Haxer only gets two hands. Come on. He needed that. He needs to... Oh, I blew up. <laughs> what? He killed the animal right at the end. He's not going to get the points. Oh, my God. What the heck? 
He took the no damage for the kill the animals. It's Haxer's turn. Haxer almost takes damage right there by the flame. All right, if Ibuba uses a star here, then he's good. Ibuba is good. He does get his two items. Inventory points. Haxer does not kill any animals. Right on. Wow. They are actually tied right now. But if Ibuba wins, he wins, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, hammer suit. Here we go. Here we go. Neither runner has taken damage yet. This is just way too intense. Gets the sun kill. Ooh, and the plant kill. Axer uses a star. He's in the clear. Ibuba uses, gets the sun kill. Does not want to take damage. Doesn't have time to be doinking around, though. That's definitely for sure. Nice, that's very safe. Haxer does great work on 8-1. The amount of pressure these guys are under, and they're still playing so well in these levels. <sighs> All right, Haxer's turn. Ibuba's gonna use the cloud. Nice, very safe. I or Haxer. Haxer doesn't have another star though, but that's okay. Um, it's kind of not okay, because he does need to try and gain as much time as he can. Yeah. Oh, Haxer misses the sun. Okay. He gets the sun, okay, and he doesn't have to, he doesn't have to flip, flip flop back and forth. <sighs> Almost runs into that piranha plant. Alright, Ibuba, don't lose the hammer suit this time. What were you doing last time? He's like, I gotta make sure I hold that duck. Don't let go too early. Nice, and he gets the boom boom kill. Holy crap, this is it. I mean, Ibuba could, could win this simply by, by two points. By just winning the race. Right? <laughs> what? What? Oh my god, this is so good. Alright, hacks are going through the fortress. I mean, anything can happen. It's very possible. Well, Haxer will lose a point. Yeah, yeah, just by one point. That's right. Nice, Akuba making his way to the airship. Getting the Rocky kills. I can't stop moving in my chair, guys. Dude. Okay, we have to hope that iBooba doesn't autopilot one up. Neither runner can autopilot. That's so important. <sighs> Alright, here it is. Bowser's Castle. He just does a normal Bowser's Castle. He's home free. He won the tournament, guys. He wins the tournament if he takes this home. That's it. He has to not grab this life, not take damage. He takes it home. He takes the win. Season 2 winner right here. This is it. Okay, he knows. He's taking it slow. This is it. Last, he's got two rooms left. I'm so nervous. He's gonna go slow! And that is it, ladies and gentlemen! Ibuba takes this- Oh my god, I can- Wow. Ibuba takes the season two win. He's got the 20 lives. He's got the first place. He's got the no damage. Ibuba takes the season two win. Absolutely incredible. Wow, man. I had never seen something so close in my life. That was just absolutely incredible. Holy crap, dude. Holy crap. Holy crap. Haxer also has the 20 lives, but he is gonna hit the second place. And he does take no damage. Wow. <laughs> wow. Holy crap, guys. All of the support that I generate, guys, don't forget, goes directly towards the season three. Just remember that.
Yeah, Haxer's just learning right now about his movement of one... Not having a lifeline that could have helped him, right? But... Haxer's just learning about it, guys! That was incredible! Guys, I can't... Dude, I can't. I'm all over the place. This is just absolutely insane. This is like the most... This is this is competitive gaming. Okay? This is this is all I can say. This is competitive gaming. This is insane, guys. Oh my god. This, this is just so incredible right now. I just I can't even And he didn't use a lifeline. He didn't use a lifeline. Oh my god. Absolutely insane. Thank you guys all so much for the support. I very, very much appreciate it. And again, like I said, it all goes towards the season three. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure you follow me and make sure you tune in for a season three. The points changed so hard. Every season, the points are different. Don't forget that, guys. Try and keep it fresh. Try and keep it fresh. Uh, do you guys want to hear from the runners? Do you guys want a little interview? I want to hear them talk. I want to see what they have to say. I want to hear what they have to say. Thank you guys so much for the support, but like I said, it goes right back to the runners. So if you guys want, it's like a crowdfund, right? Let's get it going. Let's go, baby. Thank you guys so much. Let's do it. All right, I'm in the voice channel right now. Let's see if these runners do want to join me. It's, uh, dude, it's a very unfortunate thing what happened to Haxer. All right, we're gonna hear from the runners. Let's get a little bit of uh, actual Mario music going. Turn it down a little bit here. Who are we joined with? That is iBooba right there. What is going on, iBooba? How do you feel right now? I can't believe it. <laughs> Dude, it, this, this was by far one of the best pieces of gaming content I have ever seen from both of you. Oh, thank you very much. Like, not, not just in terms of your guys' gameplay, but like the competitive aspect of what you guys pulled was just absolutely incredible. Um, yeah. Oh, I wish okay. Haxer didn't use his lifeline because we wanted to tell him so bad. <laughs> like, that movement of two and the movement of one in World 2, Haxer. That, oh my god, dude. Because yeah. we thought you were busting out a brand new strategy. Seriously. I was. I was. <sighs> god damn, dude. That is so ridiculous. One point. That's it. Yeah. Well, you guys I can. Mean, I, I definitely want to hear what you guys have to say about your runs. I definitely want to hear. So does the those are the crowd. So you guys go ahead, take the floor. Um. Well, I can't believe I got the six for three clip. That, Me. that, 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 that was a difference, Haxor. I don't know if you know. That was the difference. That was. Yeah, I saw that in chat. Uh, I don't know. I. I made like three mistakes and it cost me four points. It's unfortunate. The world two was definitely the the yeah. time point, right? I mean, that lost. Yeah. Like the race, you would have won the race, the race in time for sure. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then I would have won based on yeah. And uh, we had already given Dang. you the point for low patterns in world six, right? Because you already got it, and I knew mm. that you knew if you had to go back. And we were curious if that hammer brother did move back up, would you have kept screen scrolling back and forth? If he didn't move yes. in the right position, yeah, okay. We were we were wondering about that. That was def definitely something we were wondering. I felt like that even with skipping the hammers, I was I had a good chance of winning on time based on the times that he had been putting up. But apparently, he like had a really good run. So. Oh yeah, both of you did for both races. He still got three hundred bucks though. Three hundred smackiolas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Dude, I, I I I can't. I don't know. It was it was a big mistake by. In the first race, not just taking the last room, 
safely so mm -hmm. i just don't bump like that because i mean i could have just gone without p speed and had the uh yeah that statue is weird i, I was um i was saying uh to chat that uh like nobody's not like the the top runners aren't used to doing that room without p speed so you don't really know yeah. how janky that statue is there was three times where you jumped and you were on the pixel on the front of the statue yeah but it didn't yeah. let you walk on top of it and let's not talk about ibuba's donut clip in one of his first races all right so <laughs> that throne room is so janky man yeah it, dude it, it is, is it is it's horrible that's what i see I, I, I was so uh -huh. mad not not because it happened once but because it happened so many times I, <laughs> like if one of those times it lets me up like i get it right i'm like you gotta be kidding me right now just, yeah you know, absolutely I, insane i definitely stopped using p speed on that room well at the first part i i i do but on the lava part i stopped because on practice, I was dying so much, and I didn't want to risk it. Since Sikubi's race, that's what I stopped going for. Yeah, and it seems to be working for you. And um, the same with 4-1. You're, you're making a point to not go for P-Speed for 4-1. And I've been telling the crowd, like, that is just straight up because you're that's what you're comfortable with, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. That's what I was thinking. Um, yeah. So... Haxer got Runaway Bro in, in, in the first race. He got Runaway Bro, right? Then he came back. Yeah. Which is good. But then he ran away again, didn't he? Yep. Yeah, he, he ran away again, but I got to save the music box, so I actually got to lock the cloud in four. Yep. So I didn't have to worry about crap at the end of the world kind of oh. messing me over. We were worried in race two if you were going to dump one of those fire flowers because you had fire flower, music box, fire flower. <laughs> we were like, yeah. he's got to dump no, one. No, I... I, I was like, I know I have to do it, and the best place to do it was 7-9. I was just making sure that I could hold on to it until then. Yeah. Well, just a quick, everyone in chat, go follow both of these runners. They obviously showed that they're a fantastic runner. You got twitch.tv slash the hacks or twitch.tv slash ibuba7. Make sure you guys, if somebody can in chat, please spam. Well, not spam, but post the link <laughs> so, so they can get a follow. Um, ibuba, you made sure that 643 comes back a season. How do you feel about that? I, I think everyone hates you right now. <laughs> I I hate that point. I, I I never practiced it until yesterday. Never practiced it because I was like, this is not ever happening. And yesterday I was like, uh, I saw Haxor on the semifinals, basically got in it, but the bats of pixels. So I was like, dude, if he gets it once, I am done. Yeah, so and it juked you too. You didn't realize you got it. You were like tapping down. You didn't understand what happened. No, I, I couldn't believe it. I was so used to, well, actually, low the state because I was using a seven state. I, I, I was never used to. Oh yeah, I got it. Let's go. Yeah. So, yeah. so I, I the interesting thing is, like, even though you got the clip, if you had accidentally jumped out, you still would have got the point. I mean, you get the clip, you get the clip, right? So. Oh okay. Even so if you accidentally like... jump out. Okay. Um, but dude, no lifeline. What? You could have used I... your lifeline in World Seven, and you would have had some pretty good information. Obviously, it. You know, you would still brought it home, but no lifeline in World Four, in World Three. I mean, we could have told you about Haxer's World Two or something. What what was up with that? No, I I thought about it after World Six. I think I think that's what I was like. Uh, yeah, just after the clip, I was like, I I am going to ask, but then I I realized, okay, two possibilities. He he tells me you are ahead. I was going I was going to be very nervous to make a mistake. So ah, okay. Way. So you're looking oh, at the the other side of how a lifeline can affect you. Okay, I see. Yeah, exactly. Or the opposite. Even the opposite. You tell me you are behind. It's the same. It's the same stress, the uh, same anxiety of me. Of you, you need to play perfect. So I decided no. Just just don't. Just play your game. Uh, let's see what happens. I mean, you are doing good. Even if you lose, you are doing everything you can. So that's... I agree. And, and you know what? Honestly, this is um. I wish we had the production quality because I would love to do an instant replay of Haxer not dying in 6 Fort 1 in race 2. What? How did you not die, Haxer? <laughs> By the death waffle um... with missing the star. Like, what? We, we thought you were dead. Like, I, I looked away and started yeah. watching Ibuba because I was like, well, he died. So I, I've had that happen a few times where, like, I kind of know how I have to jump and I could have got the re-grab and potentially brought that back, but I missed it twice, actually, because there's, like, a... You can, like, grab the edge of the star and then you, you'll go slightly into the waffle, but I, I actually whiffed on both, so... I know, and I gave you credit, too. I was, I was Go ahead, Ben. 
Uh, that was big in the second race. Uh, I was like, man, like I, I, I'm like, if I could get that point, I felt like, you know, I'm pretty much putting this away because I felt like I had all the points until that point that I could mm -hmm. get except for door three, which I didn't even go for. I'm like, dude, this. Yeah, you, you never know, go for door three. That's getting... that's your thing. I understand that. But I Booba went for it yeah. twice, didn't get it twice, right? So I mean, in both races combined, I mean, you net yeah. net worth what, like 20 seconds just from that in both races. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, yeah, that's... I should have I should have equipped the flower in seven one or sorry in in six airship because then I could have got a good like manipulation at extra time. Mm -hmm. Um, but. So the, the worry that I had there was that um, if I take damage in 7-2, and mm -hmm. so I go into 7-3, I have to play it small. Yeah. I'd prefer not to play it small. I mean, it's Me not... Too. It's just one of those things where, I mean, it like... I, if I play it small, I'm going to beat it, like, I don't know. 90% of the out of 50 time. times, right? Yeah. You, right? Like, pretty much every time. But it, I don't want it to be that one time, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, I booba... I don't think in the span of two hours I've seen anyone successfully get clips as much as you. I... Well, to be honest... 7-1 I... sucked, I'll admit it. 7-1, <laughs> I have a problem because I, when I am nervous, I used to jump very early. You did, you did, uh, you did waste uh, both of your first tries, yep. Yeah, exactly. But on, uh, on general, on clips, I have to be honest, I, I am... I mean, you can't be consistent, but I am kind of consistent, I've always been. Uh, I feel well, comfortable doing clips. Uh, well, it, it worked uh, this time because yesterday on practice I couldn't get any single clip at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. Well, in these two races, in 7 9 alone, out of. Because you went for the two clips and then you went for mid clip both races, and you only missed clips twice out of the six in two races. You got. In the first race, you got first try, first try, second try for mid clip. And then in the second race, you got first try, second try, then first try mid clip. So that's. And yeah, every that's time cool. I see someone enter seven nine, I say, I say, don't go for the clips, please don't go. And you go for them every time. I, 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 I am, I feel comfortable with seven nine because when I started learning how to speed run, I was terrified of seven four two. I never learned seven four two until I got my first of fifty three PB because I was terrified. One, yeah. So I, I used to go for the clips all the time. Actually, my first 52 PB had... Uh, I, go, I, I went for the four clips at the bottom, mm -hmm. and I got all four in five attempts. Jesus. And that PB was horrible to beat because every time I got to World 7, I was losing time. Yeah, it's like it's like playing really well and going up against a no-hands run, and like your only time save is like doing 7-4-2, right? Like, that, that's, that's horrible. Even in my... Uh, no early hammer PB. I think I spent like 50 seconds in 7-9. It just didn't work for me, so it's horrible. I just told him to skip that piece of crap. Like, don't play that level. I know. Just go with the <laughs> lead. But greed, right? You get the clip greed. Your eyes turn red oh, and you're I like, know. what yeah. if? The what if game. Um, Dude, but... it only works out if the run's trash and you need to save the run. That's it. <laughs> right? I agree. I agree. So, I mean, congratulations, iBooba, for first place. Congratulations to the Haxer for second place and Zikabi on third place. Uh, 700 bucks, Ibuba. That's uh, fantastic. Is there anything you guys want to um, say? Uh, well, I want to thank you first uh, no for everything. You know, we all have a very good time on the tournament. Viewers, uh, we all racers, you, of course, I think. Um, and well, I, I love this community. It's always pretty, pretty nice. I, I, I wasn't even expecting to win my first match. When the tournament started, I I was ju I, I just uh, was coming out from a two month off of SMB3 because mm -hmm. I was so tired of it. Yeah, so yeah. I was like, yeah, I was, I, I'm going to his three cards, man. There is no way I am going to beat him. I, I and then everything was, I, I started winning race after race and I couldn't believe it. Yeah, once you started winning, I bet you just were like, all right, I got to start really practicing here. This is weird. <laughs> Exactly. I, I actually that happened ex uh, when I beat this two. At the moment I beat this two, I was like, okay, I think I have a chance, a real chance to at least get to the semifinals. So I started practicing and practicing, and that was that. That was the only, the only thing I've done since the tournament started. Well, don't forget, guys, to DM me um, your your payment options, like uh, your PayPal or whatever, whatever you guys have. All right. So make sure you let me know. 
And, uh, okay. Sounds yeah. good. Yo, congrats on the win, dude. You took me down. The first person to actually take me down <laughs> in the points it's, tournament. It's tough. You're, you're undefeated till this point, right? I know. I know. And, if I, uh, you know what, yeah, I mean, I. It's good. I'm glad we put on a great race. Yeah, Dude. I'm glad we put on a great race. I mean, 47, 46 for a final is pretty damn. Wait damn good. until um, you guys grab your snacks and watch the race tonight. You have yeah, I'm, I'm no. Excited to, I'm, I'm excited to watch it back. You know, I'm disappointed. I knew that when I made those mistakes in race run, that was a big deal because, um, you know, I know he can put up a lot of points. So, you know, missing the rocky point, missing the sub 54. I know in uh, race two he missed the rocky it, point too. What are you guys doing killing okay. the animals yeah i don't know man <laughs> they messed up messed up so yeah I, I you know and they took damage too so he had a couple points it sounds like he missed as well so yeah you, you just can't you can't miss too many of those and that's the difference right he missed out on two points and i missed out on three and that mm -hmm. was the difference mm -hmm. yeah it was and like i said for season three runners you can thank ibuba for Potentially have a six port three back. Maybe we'll skip his season. I mean, screw that. <laughs> that clip sucks, dude. It, it's like, it's yeah. Really but no, I mean, it is I can't so difficult. That like, was the margin too, man. Right? Like, that's unreal. Exactly. Yeah. And like, that's that's why I kind of like that point. I mean, it does suck, right? That clip is just garbage. You miss it too early, you take damage, and it really messes everything up. But when you get it, it's you deserve it. I, I don't know how to chalk it up any different than that. I mean, that clip is so hard. I mean, you get it, you get it, you deserve it. It's yeah. like 7-7. Seven, seven. Yeah. Also, both of you did weird 7-7 seven, seven clips. You did one in 5-7, Haxer, and iBooba did one in 4-4-2 uh, four, four, oh, before the boom boom went yeah, right yeah. through. I was like, the most optimal. Dude, like... I, don't know, I don't know what it is with the standard 5-7 that happens to me right now. It's like <laughs> I, I front pixel every jump. It's insane. Yep, yeah. yep. All right. Well, well, I'm gonna end it there, guys. And um, I'm congratulations, and I'm glad everyone had a good time. And uh, I'll see you next season if you guys are down. So uh, I'll be there. Yeah, GG, thank Hacks you very much. Thank see you later, guys.